Hello beautiful people. In this video, I will tell you how you can configure or make a web server. You have heard about many servers working in the production. So have you ever thought of making one like, uh, is it really tough to make a web server or it's really easy? Okay, so if you don't know about that, let me show you the demo and it's the simplest way to make a web server so you can make any server through this process so i will just open a file and let me show you the steps that we will use okay so the first step will be install the server second step will be configure the server third will be start the services of that server okay so these are the three steps to make any type of server okay so the first server that we are going to discuss is the web server and i will just open another terminal and the first thing is to install it okay so you need to enter this command called sudo dnf install httpd okay this is the web server name and it's by apache and you can install it so this is just to install the package and you can use any command that is according to your linux distribution press enter enter your password okay so this package is already installed if you don't have this so it will just install the software in your system and the second thing is all the web pages in linux are stored at a particular place or folder that is slash where slash www slash html okay and just go to that folder okay so we are now in the folder slash where slash ww slash html and if you check there is no file or folder so let's just create a web page okay so i'm not a web developer and i don't know how we can create any cool website so i'll just create the simplest website ever so it will be hello.html and i will just write hello world don't judge me because i don't know these things okay sudo let's try with sudo okay so i'll just create the simplest web page ever and don't judge me for that really just save it because it was not the root user so that was the problem and now we have created our web page and if you check the content it's really hello world and don't laugh okay so i don't know uh, how can i make a website like i know but i don't know it's really tough for me but that's okay and the third thing is okay we have installed the server we have configured configure means make some web pages or websites okay and the third thing is start the service of that server okay so to start any service we have a command called systemctl start httpd okay so systemctl command what it will do it will just start stop enable and uh, like it's used for services and you can use many options to do that okay so the command we have given is we need to start the service of the third argument is the service name that is httpd okay so let's just check check first if it's already started or not so if you see the status of this service this is the apache http service and it's inactive or dead okay so we need to start the service to use that web server okay just press q and start it we need to enter the 
password and yes it's start now and let me just check okay it's running now so that means our web server is in working state so how can we check that it's working okay so we can either check it with the ip address okay so this is our ip address open any browser that you have in your distribution I guess it will be Firefox mostly, not Google Chrome. So, yeah. Let's understand the syntax of any web URL. Okay, so the first will always be <clears throat> the protocol that we are using or the server. Like I'm using a web server, so the service will be HTTP or if I'm making a file server, that means I have to use the FTP. And there are many, many types of server. So we will discuss many of them in the future. And the second thing is the domain and subdomain part. So you will always see the websites like this and xyz.com. So this is just the um, domain and subdomain part, okay. So we don't have any domain for that particular page. So what we will do is just paste the IP and slash the page. Okay, it's now working, okay. So after entering the IP, you need to give the location of that page. Okay. So if we have like, if we have stored the page in other locations, so it can't detect that. So you need to place the file into the right folder. And if you want to change the location, then you need to have to do something else that we will discuss in the future videos because you have to learn something for that so yeah this was just a simplest web page ever and yeah i'm sorry if you're disappointed in me but yeah i don't know web development so that's okay and it's not a shame okay okay so that was it for today's video and if you have enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to my channel and may the source be with you